Hey y'all, it's me, Niecy Lynn. This is Friday, March 5th. <laughs> I don't know what my watch is doing. This is, nope, it is, what's my watch? Friday, March 5th, I've got the wrong, good grief. Oh Lord, this is floss tube number 62. Obviously I need to finish my coffee. My little boss is over here today making a, a beautiful picture for her mama while we're filming. So she's going to be working on that. She may come help us in a little bit, but right now she's working on a picture for her mama. We had a dinner over here last night, and so she came back today to, to help me some more. We've had a busy week, haven't we? Did Dust come over here and help us Wednesday? Dusk and Mimi came over here Wednesday and stayed with us. And uh, baby Dusk wanted to love Aria a little bit harder than she wanted sometimes. He's 18 months old, so he was giving some real hard hugs. <laughs> Wasn't he? Did he steal your apple too? Yes. <laughs> so they had a whole lot of fun. We did maybe overwalk Mimi a little bit. And um, I don't know what my hair is doing today, but all I know is I love the 80s. Evidently today because that's where my hair is at. It's just gonna hang out right there and stay and uh, Then um, Saturday well after I did the video on Friday I called because we had not got Any notification about getting uh, mama her shot her COVID shot So I called her doctor to leave another message and there was a new prompt in there that you could push a button if you were interested in getting information about getting signed up. And there had been, um, it was a different number prompt, I should say. There had been a prompt in there before, but it was a new number to push. So I did that and the lady answered right away and signed her up for the very next day for Saturday. And I nearly cried. And then I called Annie, my stepmom, and she got daddy signed up for the next 30 minutes. And then I called James's sister to see if she thought um, Billy, James's mom, would be interested. Um, I knew she had been in the beginning, but then um, I just wanted to be sure before I called. And I didn't want, you know, I didn't want to pressure her if she didn't want to, but of course I wanted her to get it. And I, Immediately Billy called me back and said I Would love to get one, but I haven't been able to get figure out how to get signed up. I called back and they were able to sign her up also So Saturday we went and uh, Billy came here and we rode and picked up mama went straight out there and they had them in and out of the shot center in 30 minutes, I was so impressed and so thankful and so grateful that they were able to get their shots and get in and out. And daddy was inside. When we came out, we saw Annie in the truck waiting for him. And um, <clears throat> she was waiting for him to get done and come out. And she said the same thing with them. We just missed him, you know, in transit somehow. Neither one of them had any kind of a reaction. Um, they did great. So I was so thankful and that I called and signed up to volunteer. So on Tuesday, I volunteered at the center because I was so thankful. And so I'll go back and volunteer this Tuesday. Also, because I can't tell y'all what a load that took off of my mind. And then, of course, once uh, Mama gets her second shot and goes the time, you know, that then it's effect, uh, she can go see her sister. You know, Mama has Alzheimer's and her sister has Parkinson's. And so once, and Lainey has had both her shots. So, but once her shot's in effect, then, you know, we can get them together and not worry so much about them making each other sick or anything. And so, it was just a huge blessing. So, that um, that's kind of been what we've been up to this week. And our Tuesday and Wednesday was a little bit different, and our, our Saturday too, than what it usually is. So, we had a little bit of a different week than we usually have, but it was a week of absolute blessings and gratitude, and I could not have been more happier, more excited than I was. So, 
It was fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. But we do have some questions. And y'all, I am sorry I forgot to say a word last week. So, um, since I forgot to say a word, I just thought I would use all the comments. So, if you commented last week and I forgot to do the drawing. So, um, what I will do is once this video is over, I'll wait. Um, I'll wait till the... Um, I'll wait a little bit. I don't know. I guess I'll say till, I'll wait till five tonight, my time to do a drawing for last week. So you can comment on last week's video, just leave any kind of a comment and it will put you in the drawing for the um, snowy and hip hop chalk full. And because I didn't, and I didn't know if anybody knew what to do, a lot of y'all commented that you didn't know what to do. So if you commented, it'll put you in the drawing. Can I have one of those little um, Oreo snacks? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you get up to the bar with it and not slip off? Yeah, but I'm eating the stove. Okay. Just don't be careful, okay? Okay. Can you get it? No. Hold, please. Oh, I see you're one of the little bags. Not the one that's down on your thing, the one for the delivery people. Okay, here you go. That's fine. Okay. Oh, there's Oreos there. That's it. And your little table's still out in there. Sorry, Al. Baby, don't bring them. Can you not eat them on the table with the needlework? Can you take them in there to your little tray? Okay, they're gonna be cold, cold. Is that okay? Because in here the towel's cold. She needed a different snack than what's usually on their thing. Those are usually the delivery people snacks um, that I leave out on the porch. So she needed one of their snacks today. So that, that's why she couldn't reach them. So, uh, but we. So um, I'll wait till five tonight. So if you're interested in one of those, just leave any kind of a comment on not this video, not today's, but last week's. So. On video 60, on floss tube 61, just leave any kind of a comment and it will put you in the drawing for that because I did forget to say a word. So, um, so there will be uh, just spaced. So I did not draw for it yet, but um, Dawn said she did get her some lipstick, some catsuit lipstick. I do have it on today. It is, I have very recognized on today which I don't know if that's probably not gonna focus on there. Nope, it's not. But it is Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit, and it is very recognized. This is what I have on today with just some gloss on over it. And it will stay on all day, and if you don't put gloss on, it won't smear or anything. You going in there, baby? Okay. You can get what you want, baby. And um, Kathy, I do want to say I'm sorry for your friend who moved to Texas to try to get away from northern winters and then, you know, got slammed on Valentine's week because that was a naughty trick. And our other Kathy with a C, that was Kathy with a K, Kathy with a C, said she thought last week would be warm enough to walk her dog because it was going to be up to 22. I do not know how you walk your dog in 22 degrees. I evidently do not have the right clothes. Baby, you can't, uh-uh, uh-uh. Baby, you can't go out. You can't go out while she was doing the video. We'll put a, we'll put some more out later, but you can't go out while she was videoing. I evidently do not have the right kind of clothing for that kind of business. Vicki asked about the, or commented about her spring scissors. I was going to talk about those, um, and I'll show them again in a minute when we talk about the clipping. But the ones I have are Fiskars. I got them at um, Joann's with a half off coupon. One of my, or 40%, whatever their coupons are, 50 or 40% off. But it is, and it has a spring in it. And so when you're clipping the rag quilts, it opens back up. So you don't have to open, you know, with your regular scissors, like if you're cutting with regular scissors, let me find one that doesn't have 80,000 things of thread on it. These are small, but. 
you know, with regular regular stitch, you have to open, close, open, close, open, close. So if you're doing um, a rag quilt, that's a lot of extra steps, the opening it each time. So these, you close it, but the spring opens it back up for you every time. And like I said, this is a Fiskars pair. They've worked really great. It says, it's called Fiskars Easy Action. And like I said, I use my half off coupon at uh, Joann's, which if you will download the app, it, there's always one on there. If not, anytime you check out, you know, they give you one on your receipt. But um, if you have the app on your phone or your, I don't know if it goes on your iPad or anything like that, um, it keeps it on there and then you can always have one with you to check out because it doesn't use it up. So it's just always sitting there on your phone from what I know. I, I mean, I've never had it say, oh, you've already used this. So I love these things. Vicki said she loves her too. <clears throat> Lori said um, that her mama and her grandma come to her as butterflies. They've already passed. And um, she also, which I'm going to come back to that. She also said that one of her relatives um, ran over there ran over each other with their mower and cut their toe off. And like I said, I used to work in a prosthesis lab and you will not believe how many people we make toes for because they cut their toes off with their lawnmowers. Y'all please wear your shoes when you're mowing. Please put your shoes on. For heaven's sake, put your shoes on. Why people don't put their shoes on when they're mowing? Put your shoes on. Because, no, will a tennis shoe completely stop a mower? No. But to lose your toenail is much less hurtful than to lose your whole toe, okay? So, but she said they come to her as butterflies. And um, Keely is the youngest baby here. And um, I have the three kids, CJ, Micah, and Keely, and Keely is the youngest. And he uh, leases some pasture for some people. And a couple of weeks ago, she was diagnosed um, with terminal cancer. Darlene was diagnosed with terminal cancer. And um, he was really upset about it. They're real sweet people and he cared a lot about them. And he was, he called me and he was upset. He said, mom, I just can't believe it. Um, and he was upset. And um, you know, he knows she's been sick and everything. And he's, you know, kind of gone by and they had some water leak, and, you know, when the eye stuff and everything. And he went by and, you know, kind of fixed it. and. And all, and um, then a couple of nights ago, he was dreaming. And he went by, he dreamed that he went by and fed, you know, he was feeding his cows and everything and putting hay out. And he said, you know, um, I drove by and got out and unloaded the hay. And he said, I was cutting my net wrap off and pulling my net wrap. And he said, then they brought Darlene out in the wheelchair. And he said, she waved at me, you know, and he said, I waved at her and everything and hollered over to her and all. And um, he said, you know, I got back in the car and uh, got back in the truck and uh, went on feeding and everything. And he said, then I woke up. And he said, I will, and he said, I remembered it so vivid. I remembered, you know, my dream so vivid that, um, that she, they, you know, wheeled her out in the wheelchair and everything. And, um, he said he got up and went on, you know, doing his work day and everything. And they called him and um, they called him and told him that she had passed that next day. And I said, you know, yeah, you know, she was telling you bye. She was coming to you to tell you bye. And I do think, I do think people do that. I think if they can and if you're where you can, you know, I do think people try to do that. And... I don't, I think it's, I think it's for you and for them. And I think, I know people don't always believe that, but I do think that's true. So Lori, I do think it's true that, um, I do think they probably do come see you as butterflies. I believe that. And if pe people can believe it or not believe it, um, but I do think that's true. So, and Audrey, whenever you get ready, you pack that suitcase and you come on because goodness gracious, after Scarlett done left you in all this bad weather up there, you deserve a break today. I don't even know what to say. The Pacific Northwest has just, y'all been hammered and hammered and hammered again. 
We had a little week of it, but man, y'all just keep getting it. And I don't even know what to say. It just keeps on keeping on. Patty had asked about, uh, said she thought that about a huge statue, a cowboy statue in what's hatching. And I can't think of what it would be. We're usually known for our courthouse. We have a beautiful courthouse. If you look up Ellis County, Texas, our courthouse is famous for being beautiful. We had a, um, a French architect come and make our courthouse. It's beautiful. Uh, my daddy worked there when I was uh, growing up. He was uh, in the sheriff's department. And when the kids were growing up, he was in there. He was the chief deputy and he had office in there. <clears throat> and so we came in and out of there all the time. It is still a functioning courthouse. They do still use it. And um, the uh, there is a preservation society that takes really good care of it. We're very fortunate. It's beautiful. Our whole downtown area is very beautiful. Uh, we're also known for our gingerbread houses. We have um, the houses, the Victorian houses with all the gingerbread trim. We have a lot of those. And that's real pretty, always very nice. We have a big festival for that. We have the gingerbread trail as it's called. And we have a big festival for the crepe myrtles. But I couldn't think of a big, of a big giant cowboy statue. Now there are, you know, cowboy statues in front of some of the banks and things like that. But I couldn't think of a big giant one. But it may just be my brain, you know, leaving on me there, Patty. But I couldn't, if there is, I can't think of it right now. But that don't mean nothing because here again, I haven't finished my coffee. So that is always an issue. So it'll probably come to me while I'm sleeping, Patty. And if so, I'll message you. And Teresa said she does sell the kind of septic systems like I have. Teresa and I have way too much in common. <laughs> there has been some huge cosmic mix up and we really are sisters around the line somehow. So I'm not sure how this all happened, but there's there's a lot, there's way too much in common there. Um, Jude, Sally said, check at the Stitching Nook in Osage, Iowa. She evidently has a site, but she has a lot of the you and I and friends. If you didn't find it at the Three Springs, she said check there at the Stitching Nook in, U in Osage, Iowa. And uh, she also has lots of specialty threads, but she said to you she was sorry she got the last carriage black they had. So, <laughs> yeah, the early bird and all that. Um, But, no, Linda, the Linda. She said she got the last carriage black from there. So, but Linda, I did see that Shelly had a, she was holding up a carriage black in her video I watched this week. So, call Shelly at Just Stitch In and see if she still has some carriage black there. And then I'm going to come back to carriage black in a minute because I don't know why I don't, if I use a computer better, I could organize these things, but I don't. So, we just got to skip around all over the place. Because that's how I do. That is how I do. Because I don't use a computer well, as all of y'all, especially Holly, know. Janine said, uh, when we're talking about things being, finding things that are finished, not finished them, it made her think about finishing up things. She has a piece that it's called Proud to be Bear American, and it's a boy bears piece by Stony Creek. And she's half finished it, but she can't find her chart. She can't find the chart for Proud to be Bear American. When she's looked it up, the only place she can find it, it is like crazy expensive. So, if anybody knows where they have one that is affordably priced, or if they have one they're willing to loan, or anything else, sorry y'all, I moved the trestle under the table there. Um, holler because she would like to finish stitching her piece, but she can't find her chart anymore. So. Holler if y'all got it or know where she can get one. Cindy asked about the Wicked Stepmothers for a carriage black. They do have an, two beautiful black threads and I'm fixing to get them right here that I just used one of them for right here. She has Spooky and Misty, and I think I showed them a little bit last week, but I don't think they're quite dark as Carriage Black is pretty dark. So I'm gonna try to 
Let's see if we can use the back of this. I don't, they're not quite as dark as carriage. But spooky is dark and it is pretty, but it's not quite as dark as carriage. If I remember right, carriage is really dark with nearly like a brownish back tint to it. But this is spooky and this is, that was misty, hold up. And this is misty. And they're both looking a little more blue in this light for some reason. Let me see if I can turn this this way a little bit without it making a shadow. It may make a shadow there, but it may still be blue, but. But they are gorgeous. And also, before I forget, um, Wicked Stepmother is, her skeins are usually, if you can see here, she's fixing to start doing them in 10 yard skeins. They're eight and a half, it looks like. And she's fixing to start doing them in tens. So I meant to say that last week and I completely spaced and forgot. So, and this was one of the other colors last week and it's called Silver Wings. And I don't know if the variegation is gonna show up or not on there. But that is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. And also it looks blue also because this is blue on the front. So I probably should have used this piece. Let's see if that makes a difference. Durr. Durr. No, it must be the light because it's still showing kind of blue. This is less blue than it did look before though, but it must just be my light. But yes, they have those two new ones, Spooky and Misty, that are, um, one is like a light black gray, and then the spooky is a black, and I'm loving it. I used it this week, and I'll show y'all in, yeah, you can see where I used it in one of the things. Um, and Vicki and Annette and several of y'all, yes, I forgot to say a word. My brain. Oh, what can I say? Angela asked about rag and the quilts, how you rag the quilts. Um, this one, like I said, I didn't get it finished ragging this week, but. So here it is and it's got the double stitch there. And so you just have your little snips and you just snip it all the way around. And then when you wash it and dry it and wash it and dry it, it rags up. And I was gonna grab the ones that are washed. Maybe Ari will come in here in a minute. But you just snip all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. Because I'd been doing burp rags. And so when I had, um, I've been doing burp rags in between. Because I changed. Hey, Aria, can you do Shook a favor? Mm -hmm. Will you run in the laundry room? And there's some little burp rags for baby catch. And they're on the dryer. Can you grab them? In the dryer, in the laundry room. On, sitting on top of the dryer. They're folded up in threes. I think I laid them right there on the dryer. Can you reach them? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're great, great. Thank you. Think he's going to like those? No? Yeah. yeah? Okay. okay yes. So this is after one wash. The edges are starting to rag. And each time you wash them, they rag some more. So I just... Clack, clack, clack all around. But like I said, I'm the queen of chain piecing. I was chain piecing long before I ever knew it was a thing because my granny's bobbin didn't work. And we all had to hand wrap her bobbins. So in between so many things, I would I run a piece of this burp rag in there. <laughs> because that's I always watched her sew that way. So I didn't know how to sew, but I watched her do that. So that was in my brain the way to go. So when I had dusk here this week, um, and I washed his outfit before I took him back home. I didn't take him home. I took him to Annie's. Um, shadow was going to be longer because she was trying to cover somebody's gray. His hair was black as mine. And, uh, they decided they keep, they haven't given up yet. And so it's take, it was her last one was going to take a while. And Mimi got tired. And, um, so we loaded mama up and we're going to take her home. And we had dust with us, so Annie, we were just going to drop him off at 
with Annie because she was done with her appointments and things. And then it's much closer for them to pick Dusk up from Annie than for them to have to come over here. So, so they got one wash done when we washed his outfits because it had ketchup and apple and all kind of business on it. <laughs> Well, while he was he was having all the fun when he got here because Aria had she loves apples and she was just you know had an apple and was eating it you know and he's like I said he's 18 months and she set it down and went to get him a toy she thought he'd like well you know he laid eyes on that thing and snatched it up well then he didn't want to let go of it so we had to get her another apple. Well, he thought that was the coolest thing because, you know, usually we cut his apples up and then cut them up again. Well, then he thought he was big because he had this apple. And he, uh, well, y'all probably, if y'all have Instagram, see my picture because he was, he would suck on it and eat a bite of it and then he would stick it on top of his head. And I was laughing because I kept asking him, you know, who's William Tell? Where's William Tell? Because he would, and then he'd stick it on his head. And just hold it up there and look at me and I was dying. He had more fun eating that apple and playing with that apple. And of course, everything in this place was sticky is all get out. But it was worth it to see how much fun he had with that thing. That was the best toy he had all day long. He loved it. And he was big, you know, he was big like Aria because he had a, a big apple like her and she's big. So he thought he was grown. And he had that apple and went all over the place. So these got through their first wash, but the more you wash them, you know, the more it'll rag up on here. But he, he was a hot mess with that. We were dying. Uh, Carla said she gets the paper mache boxes at, uh, to watch because they have them at Dollar Tree. And I did not, I've never picked up any at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to look um, when we go because that's where I get um, Mama's little puzzle books because they're a dollar. I love the Dollar Tree. They now have things that are not a dollar in there, but it's clearly marked. These are five dollars or whatever. But um, she says they have paper mache boxes that are a dollar, and I love to go there, so I will definitely be looking. Michelle asked about the sulky on the Lottie doll, so I grabbed him over here so I wouldn't forget. I think this is tin bucket and something else on here, but then this the girls wanted rainbow letters, and it is. Sulky, it probably won't focus, but it's 4106. Now, it looks really bright rainbow on here, but once I did it on here, it looked, and I don't know if it's because it's on a light blue, but it didn't look as bright, and I'm not sure why. It's obviously past, the, it's obviously rainbow, but it doesn't look as bright as it looks on here, kind of. I don't know why, but I was still very pleased with it. The girls love it. And he is so cute. This is Spring Hair by Lottie Daw. Um, I added the year in, I think. I don't think it's on there. And I may have added some more. I may have added some more Lazy Daisies just because. I think on the original, the only thing that has any color maybe is the bow tie. And maybe not even that. I can't even remember now. But it is a fun, quick stitch. It stitches up so fast. So, um, this would also make a very cute birth sampler. If you were looking for a birth sampler for somebody, um, you could do a date. You know, you could do the date here. Instead of just the year, you could add the date in. And then you could do the name instead of just the alphabets. You know, you could write their name in here. And any other information you wanted. And this would be adorable. Especially right now. You know, Bebe's doing the neutral nursery. So, you could do this with the tin bucket on a gray background. And then not even add any other colors. Or just one accent color if you wanted to. But this would be a very cute little burst sampler that would stitch up really fast. So, I just, I love this piece. La Di Da makes really, really pretty pieces anyway. But this one, um... Like I said, the girls wanted the rainbow letters and I was not sure about the rainbow letters because I'm never sure about rainbow. Rainbow and I are not friends as much. As much as I love color, I would have done 
the, the letters probably all different colors, but the girls love rainbow. Aria Kyle is going to drive her right where she at. Hey, what you doing, Bunky? Aria. What? What you doing, baby? I'm eating. In the pantry? Um, Are you in the pantry? No. Oh, okay. I just thought I heard a sound come from the pantry and I didn't want you to be eating set by the trash can. But she gonna drive her rainbow van when she gets big. She loves rainbow, so. So they loved it, but this is, I used Sulky 4106 for the rainbow letters. And it it's one, that's one thread on 28 count even weave. And I think these are just, yeah, these are just some other Sulky colors I had on the pinwheel. If I'm not mistaken, but it's 10 bucket and something else. Or maybe it's just tin bucket. No, there is one lighter color, but it's only around his bow tie. And maybe the pinwheel. Everything else is tin bucket. But I did love that piece. So much. But I did get a little bit of spring out. There's my uh, spring ABCs by Little House. Um, this is the Blackbird Designs, and I think it's on the, is it called Easter Basket? It's got the one with the Easter Basket, which I have on the mantle. That is a freebie by, from the Art Needle Heart, from the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. And I think it's on her blog. And then that is my Spring by the Drawn Thread. And I love it. Welcome Spring by the Drawn Thread. So I grabbed those and stuck them out this week. We started taking down, uh, we took down winter and we started adding out some spring, so I couldn't take it anymore. But it had to come down. Uh, Jerry Lynn also said that Blackbird, um, she thinks Classic Color Works Blackbird is close to Gassed Carriage Black. And so she, check her on her Etsy at Finish a Quilt. And she, um, she usually has Classic Color Works on there a lot. So check out her. If you're needing Classic Color Works, she ships fast. She usually keeps a good selection and she ships super fast to you. So classic color works Blackbird. Um, Tammy C, I do wish that Ari Kyle was always here when I filmed, although today she's not really, she's not into us today. I don't know what's going on. Today she's not very into us. Last night they had out their little sewing machine and they made little pillows for their little dolls and everything while they were here last night eating dinner. But today she's not really into us, so I don't know what's up with that. Judy suggests for Carriage Black to try the, a couple. She says try uh, Classic Color Works Zach Black, Weeks Dye Works Mascara, or there is a couple of gassed ones. She says try Raven, Blackbird, or Black Crow. She says try those and see if any of those are close to the color you're looking for. Cindy uh, was asking um, who's which baby, who's having a baby? Keely and Bebe. So the youngest one, Keely, and his wife, Bebe, are expecting in April. They were here last night eating dinner, and Bebe looks like she's about to pop because she's uh, ain't, hardly ain't enough for Bebe to cuss at to begin with. So she looks like she is just about to explode. So she is feeling it, man. She just... She said, I'm miserable. She's not sleeping because she can't get comfortable. So, Cat just taking up all his room and then some. Absolutely then some. So, but that, that's who is, um, that's the only baby we have coming around here. So, we're excited though because it's been um, since Aria. So, because I have the two, Kimi and Aria, and then Catch will be the third. So, we're getting a boy this time. So, Anna Jane, I thought last time was looking for the Love Squared but that's not, she's looking for this one that I made for good old girl. It was in a leisure arts magazine. It had to have been in probably 92. I would assume because I did it for good old girl for Christmas. I don't think I probably changed the colors or anything. 
because I just had to pick up whatever we had at the, I think at Walmart. I don't think we had anywhere else to get stuff. And I had a subscription to my Leisure Arts magazine. And so I think it all had to come from that. So any of you guys stitched this, I tried Googling it and I can't figure out how to figure it out. And I can't figure out how to find the Leisure Arts online to even try to flip through them. So help, please. Anna Jane wants to stitch it and I can't figure out, I'm gonna try to slide this here in this chair, how to figure out how the pattern is, which pattern, what pattern it is, because it is, um, I can't find it. Usually you can, you know, Google around and Google several different ways and you can find a picture or something at least. I found nothing, absolutely nothing. It was weird. Um, I tried love filigree letters, love, I tried all kinds of things and found nothing. So I don't know what the heck I have done um, to not be able to find that. And of course, when I find them now, I try to write on the back of what it is so that I'll know. Jill asked about who I watched to, cause this is not a normal rag quilt. It's like a super easy rag quilt because we all know I'm a sewing beginner. And it is, her name's Darlene Michaud, M-I-C-H-A-U-D. She does all kind of quilting and things. She's very funny, but um, she does curse a little. So, you know, if that is a problem for you, it's not a problem for me. I live with James Williams and um, heaven knows that I will get mad and curse myself. But I've been having a problem with the tension on my machine and I've tried fixing it and fixing it. I think it may be my needle though. I think I may need a new needle. After I did some research, I think that may be my problem. So I'm gonna try changing my needle and see if that does it. But this is like all with one piece. So, and I don't know if it's gonna be able to show like this. But see, your squares come out perfect because you're not, you're folding one piece. So you start out with like a yard and an eighth and a yard and an eighth of fabric. And then you fold it so that you get four, like 40 inches square or something. And then you fold it and sew and fold it and sew. So her, she's Darlene Rashad, and she does, uh, she does a very good tutorial on, and I think it's, she's got, when you see her tutorial for that, it is a light pink and a dark pink solids. And it says something like the easiest rag quilts or something like that. So you'll know that's the one. Are you ready to do some happy mail? Can you help me with happy mail? Let's see here. Look here, we got a letter, look here. From Miss Julie, y'all's friend in Indiana. Look here. Look at that beautiful card. Look at those little chickadees on there. Those little black cat chickadees, aren't they cute? And look, she sent us this funny, I love Pearls Before Swine. I love that cartoon. It is hilarious. And it's about there being way too many people and the answer is at the top of the hills because there ain't no people. Amen and amen. Oh, baby, baby, don't pull. What you do, baby? Don't pull them off, okay? She needs them because they tell the numbers, okay? Don't pull them off, all right? See that one's about to come off anyway, but let's not pull them off, okay? Now this is the one that y'all got some snail mail in. All right. So let's see here. Let's see here. Whoa, that's a lot. Of that's a lot. And it's for Miss Lori. This beautiful card, can you hold it up so they can see it on the thing? Can you hold it up like this? Look at there, good job. All right. So cute. What's, um, is this for me and Kimmy? See, it says, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. So is, it, is it for Kimmy or me? There's something for each y'all in here, okay? All right. Oh, look. Oh, look here. She can have the Legos. She loves Legos. She loves Legos. Do you, more than you? Yes. Well, look, there's one of each of you, though. You each get one. Oh, I want this one. You want that one? Okay. Oh, no, I do not. You want that one? Yeah, because that one has a scary gun. Is both of scary? Well, you don't know. It's a surprise. You don't know what's in there until you open it. There's two Santas. 
Uh huh. Oh, and a witch and a what's this guy? A emoji. A, a happy face emoji with a bow. <laughs> Who loves a bow? I love bows. Hey, what? What can you say? Can you tell Miss Lori? What can you tell her right here? She can see you if you tell her right now. <laughs> what can you tell her? Thank you. <laughs> Do you want to go open one of them up? You want to go open your Lego up? Or you want to sit here and help Shug for a minute? Open my Lego right now. Okay, you want to take it to your tray? Mm, I'm gonna... Or right over there? Yes, okay, all right. Thank you, Lord. And then look, this I, this, I have a friend who loves Jen. That is her favorite. And it says, Jim, I thought you said Jen, which is, and it's by So Cross, which I'd never, I've never seen, so it has a little hoop and everything in here. I love this. So um, I will probably try to stitch this up real quick. The design up, probably into a little ditty bag because she's a performer. She's a burlesque performer. She's fabulous. And um, I will probably try to make her a little ditty bag for her pasties or something because this is the cutest thing and I could stitch that. So this will probably, we'll probably do this as a giveaway soon, but I want to stitch this design up real quick for her for a little ditty bag because this is the cutest thing. So, so thank you so much. That is adorable. And um, like I said, she loves Jen. She even has favorite kind and stuff, which I have a favorite kind of tequila, but I don't, I don't know that, I don't know that I've ever even drank Jen. I know Mike and them drink Tom Collins. I think that may have gin in it. I don't know. Usually Mike drinks vodka though. But so anyway. But thank you so much, Lori. I'm off on down the rabbit hole there. Lord Aria is down here. Aria leg going. So thank you so much. We got we had all the fun happy mail this week there. It's King's favorite car. Who is it? What's his name? Remember um the Halloween show? Is it Jack Skellington? You can't open the other one. You have to wait and ask Kimi if you get. So put him together, and then maybe she'll want to trade you. Okay. Put him together, and we'll put him back in the bag, and maybe she'll want to trade you. Yeah. You don't like Jack singing, This is Halloween. Yeah. No? I do not love none of it. You don't love none of it? You think it's scary a little? Yeah. I like that movie. Okay. All right, we're going to go straight into whips. All the whips here. Um, like I said, we were out and about, and so I was here and there, so I had to let myself have, from March Madness, I guess, a couple of small starts because I knew I was going to be not where I could get out big things. So, I let myself have two little starts um, that were easy to cart around. I'm going to try to dig them out here. I have got a hot mess here on the table. Wait, Ari, did I have a big mess here? can get it on. Let's see here. I gotta put his, hold on. I gotta get Jack's tie on. I think we gotta put it on and then put his head on. Let's see. I thought it was something Well, see, it's his fancy bow tie. See, look at there. It looks like a bat. How fancy is Jack? Not fancy. You don't think he's fancy? No. Oh, I think he's fancy. Do you know why I don't like him? Because there's bats in there. I do not like Oh, I forget bats. you don't like bats. And I love bats. Remember, she'd go special to see the bats. But I don't like bats. Oh, I love bats. But I let myself have two small starts um, that I could cart around easier because I was going to be at the volunteer place. So I was going to get there a little early and stitch a little bit before I went in. And, um... Then I knew I'd have dusk that day. And so I started something that morning that was easy, just pick up and sit down, but I never did get to pick it up again because we were so busy having fun with him, weren't we? Shook, what does this go on? I don't know, I'll have to look at it when we're done. I don't know, i have to look at it when we're done. She doesn't have her um, glasses on oh, the seat over there. Oh, there's your erections, there you go. 
So at, this is Happy St. Patrick's Day by Bent Creek. And he is so cute with all his little gold. And of course I'm doing his hat band in the buckle there in satin stitches. So his outfit's done and the light is not picking up his buttons very well. His buttons are done there. And then his hat band will be satin stitch and his buckle on his hat will be in satin stitch. And that's just as far as I got on him. But of course, after that, you really just have the, mainly the gold in the bucket there is the main thing left. But it was really cute. And the threads I'm using for it are Um, Amber Waves will be one of the gold. Steamed Broccoli will be, I think, my shamrocks. His little beard will be 12 grain. Hickory Sticks. Cider Mill Brown and Apricot Blush will be his face, though. But then the black, I'm gonna, which I wish I'd got the kettle done. The cauldron will be the spooky by Wicked Stepmother. And then Harvest Moon will be one of the gold, the blooms. The Harvest Moon and the Amber Waves will be the two gold Should doubloons. Be, okay. Remember little um, level people. What drink of people, baby? We'll have to look and we needed help with, um, with the Christmas tree. Okay, we'll have to do when we're done, okay? We can, let's show you finish the video, and we'll have to go find it and get done. So that one was really fun, and these fun, fun colors. And then I worked on um, Luck Be With You by Homespun Elegance. Here, and I loved it, and I got Be With and some shamrocks. And the variegation is not showing up in my shamrocks on here and that makes me sad because it is so pretty. It is, let's see here. Green Acres and Roasted Chestnut by Classic Color Works, but there's such pretty variegation in it and it's not showing up on my on the video, I don't think. I don't think the picture's catching it. So I got that. So I just gotta do luck and you and then finish the row of the shamrocks on there. But these are just on some scraps of even weave I had uh, laying around. Oh, and this is, I forgot to say which that guy is, hold on. The leprechaun's body is bullfrog, I think. Yeah, his little outfit is Wheat's Bullfrog, which is a fabulous color, too. But this one is Green Acres and Roasted Chestnut, and I love the colors on it, but I don't think the variegation is showing up on either one on here, and I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if the light, if I don't have the light right on it or what, but it's really, really cute. But I thought I'd do some luck things since, um, after I felt like I was so lucky to get um, get all three of the parents their shots this week, I wanted to do some luck things because I felt super lucky. That made me like crazy happy. And then who else did we work on this week? Um, let's see, Peace on Earth, which Randy and Mary Chase. Peace on Earth did not want to be my friend. This leaf right here, I pulled out three times because I kept doing this side like it was this side. I don't know what was going on, but I finally got it done and wasted a ton of time, but it's finished, so hallelujah. But the variegation on these and the layout of it is so, so pretty. 
But I'm so aggravated that I took so much time wasting taking this whole leaf out three different times because I got half the leaf done and would realize I'd done the wrong side on the wrong side and it was all the way over into where this leaf should be. So this thing is gonna be so beautiful and I'm so excited that I'm finally working on it and getting it going. And it's gonna be the prettiest thing. The colors on it are fabulous. There we go, maybe. And these are, and this here it is finished. Peace on Earth by Blackbird. I don't think it's available anymore. But of course, these like this, they will probably put in, um, you know, when they release other books, you know, they will do the compilation books. They're so good about that. When these things that have been retired a long time and then they do some of the books, the bigger books, they usually put a couple of these in there so that y'all can get them again because they're fabulous people and they don't want people having to pay a million dollars for them on eBay. So usually the, when they do the bigger books, they put a couple of these in there. So I don't think this one's come out in any of the other ones, but I bet that it will. So it's such a pretty design. It's such a pretty message and the colors are fabulous. Did you get it done? I knew you would. Oh, look at you. It is Forest Glade. These are all gas colors. Forest Glade and Moss are the greens. And, the, and it's just the four colors. Nutmeg and Mulberry. Look at that. I mean, it's just wow. That thing is wow. It's fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Love, love, love. I got a tiny bit done on, and I've only made a copy of this for heaven's sake. This is my hedgerow house and it's upside down. Oh, I probably, I got a tiny bit done on my hedgerow house. Um, I would have got way more if I hadn't had to keep ripping out peace on earth. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I did get, what's wrong baby? Oh, you didn't get your other pom-pom on yet? But I did get one of my pansies started. So, I started this pansy here, and it'll be a blue and yellow one. So, that is a variegated blue, and then the super dark purple blue from that Darlie sent me that's one of the Madeira colors that I'm using for that. And... I think it's gonna be real pretty. It's gonna be this colors here. That pansy will be these, these three colors. That pansy will be these three colors here. So I've done the blue and part of the purple, which is not showing up at all on my purple shirt, maybe there. And then this yellow will be on here. So maybe that, oh, maybe that's better. There we go, like that. So I wanted to get the, I wanted to get both of these done down to here this week, but I didn't make it because this little house, they've got it done all yellow and orange. I'm gonna do mine with a dark gray roof and white because before we moved into the other white house, we moved, we lived in a little tiny white house with a dark gray roof right down the road and when the kids were real small. And I loved it, I loved it too, but it was so tiny. But that's the colors it was. So that's what I'm gonna do with those. It's gonna be those colors, white and gray. And then the other house was white and black. And then, we worked on May Health and Peace. I got a good bet done on May Health and Peace. I was very pleased with the progress on it. So May Health and Peace by My Lady's Needle. And that is Hedgerow House Sampler by Jane Greenoff is this one. Hedgerow House Sampler by Jane Greenoff. Um, you can buy the kit on her, she has a website. And you can buy the kit, I think, or the pattern on there, either one. 
But I worked on this guy here, our threads. That's that one. You want to hold that one? These are our threads for it. I had to go get some more 3046 because I was out. And it, you got to love you some DMC. You got to hold those up. Those are for Hedgerow House. She's holding up Hedgerow House. But you got to love your DMC because it still matches. Yeah, we'll need those in a minute, won't we? Okay, here we go with this one. It's going to cover up everything. We got this finish, the bottom half of this, this whole design, and all the way across here done. So, let's see if we can get, here we go back here. So, all this design, the bottom half of this, and then from like, let's see where we're at, from here over, down on here. So. This week I'll get the peacock done and probably use a little house or start on the tree down here. So we just have, there's a little house right here, the deer and the tree, and then the border. And we're done with this one. So it is really coming along. It's nearly finished. And I cannot wait to get it framed up and get it on the wall because I am loving it. Love, love, loving it. Do you like this one, Aria? Mm, yeah. Yeah, is this the one you um, said you like best? Only if it has purple. Um, purple. Well, see, it has this kind of blue purple. Is that close enough? Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's close enough. And if, if, if the pink was much more lighter. You like the pink to be pinker and the purple, the blue to be purpler? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we finished up. We had to finish this week, didn't we? We finished up Spring Messenger by Brenda Gervais this week. We nearly, we were pretty close last week, but we sewed the buttons on it and got it finished. Uh, that'll, don't mess with that, that'll turn us off. Ooh. Oh Lordy, that'd be bad. So we got a finish on it. Uh, we finished the border. This is, um, I love this border. I don't know if you can see, it's Love Letters. You know, don't fall, baby. It's Love Letters, I think is which one it is. No, it's sand. Let's see. You okay? Yike. Yeah, love letters in the sand is which one it is. And it has the variegation actually shows up, which it doesn't in a lot of whites. But I love this piece. I did satin on his little necklace thing, his little scarf. And then the buttons are buttons that I've cut off of. Uh, Pap's old shirts that have worn out and some of the shirts and things of the kids over the years that were just completely trashed and like some of them even said like this one says Old Navy on the back so I flipped it over it was some of the kids but I wanted to show this is just a white thread a white quilt and stitch and thread so you can see the difference in the color of this one is, my gosh, my fingers. Sister Golden Hair is what I sewed these on with. And it is so pretty and it's just mixing right in with these off-white buttons. And I put this white thread on here so you can see the difference. I'll go back and color with it on a tan marker to fix it. Yes, no, I'm not gonna cut it off and re-sew it. I should, but I'm not. Um, but I was so pleased with how he turned out. But these are, um, what all did I stole with? I think this one mainly was mostly my Wicked Stepmother thread. So I've got Love Letters, Nutcracker, Old Gray Mare, Sister Golden Hair, Colonial Copper is the chest of the little robin. The back of the little robin is Wheat Style Work Palomino. Holly Jolly is the green stems on the plant. And Harvest Moon are the blooms on the little plant. And my initials. And then the outline in there is this molasses here. So, let's see, there we go. If I get too close, it's not picking the colors up. But I was super crazy pleased with it. Like I said, the buttons aren't, they had, she has some real pretty antique looking buttons on hers. 
They're like beautiful, but mine have sentimental because they belong to James and the kids. And so I just stitched them on there and I love them. But you can see the variegation and the love letters in the sand and that off-white border. It's not showing up as much as I wish it would, but maybe that helps, yeah. But this piece, I loved, love, love, love stitching it up. It was super crazy fun. I loved it. And then, da, 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 da. we had an FFO. My a tisket a tasket. I told you I was gonna put it on the little paper mache box circle. Is it a box if it's a circle? I don't know. I guess because hat boxes were circles. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I just had some greenish paint and I put another color green on there and then a little bit of gold and because I didn't want it to be blue because I didn't want the bird to mix in. So it's got a little bit of gold like the basket and a little bit of green like the leaves. So and then it's got little pom-poms around the edge. But when I went to do it, it was sticking up off the top and one of y'all had asked how I was going to finish my Tisket of Tasket. So here we go. Um, I just left the inside. I may put paper on the inside. I'm not sure. But when I went to stick it on there, it was sticking way up off the top. Pop that up a little bit like that. It was like way up high. There was a big gap. So I took my razor knife and I cut this loose. I cut the top out and pushed it down about halfway and then re-glued it in there with my hot glue. That gave me enough space to recess where I had laced this around the back. I had laced my little bird around the back. Um, Vonna does a fabulous tutorial on lacing round ornaments and Kathy Haberman does one on lace and round ornaments. They're fabulous. And that gave me space to push all that fabric down in there so it wasn't popping up off the top. So it's hid down in there. And then I just put some pom-poms around the edge. And then of this, I glued the pom-poms onto the back of my fabric circle. I cut my circle, sewed, you know, gathered up my fabric, pulled it around tight. I've got a piece of like quilt batting on top, two pieces actually. Pulled it tight, but then you have all that on the back. So it sunk down in here because I was, I recessed my lid. Then I glued my pom-poms onto the back of my fabric here. And then I glued, I put glue on the back of the pom-poms and stuck that onto this lid. And then, but, sometimes my brain don't work. The bottom should be the bottom, and my brain the bottom is the bottom. Your bottom should be your top in this. I should have put my divide, see my little piece of, where the paper meets, that should be at the top on this because that's the part nobody's gonna look at. This part's gonna be up here where nobody's gonna look at it. So I should have put this up here and it would have hit it better, but it's okay. But there we go and it, it's cute, I love it. It's not perfect, I'm not a perfect finisher. I'm not, that's not my, that ain't my gift. But I'm super pleased with it. I love the little satin flowers and the little eyelet flowers. It turned out so, so cute. The pattern um, is beautiful. It is a beautiful pattern. I wanted to brighten it up a little bit and I just love how it turned out. Love how it turned out. I think I wrote the colors down possibly.
Weeks Dye Works Cadet, Classic Color Works Fallen Leaves, Eggshell, Weeping Willow, Roasted Chestnut, Gassed Harvest Basket, and then DMC 3031. And I am just crazy pleased with it. It's so, so cute. I love it. Love, love, love it. So that was my FFO this week. So I think we ran the gamut of everything. We had a little bit of everything this week. So um, I think that is everything. Uh, the share this week did I grab, will be um, this. Spring's Messenger by Brenda Gervais. And let me get back over here to where my notes are. find my notes because I want to be sure I say the right thing. This one's St. Patrick's Day. So if you interested in that one, say Leprechaun. And if my pen would work. If you're interested in this one, Luck Be With You by Homespun Elegance. Use the word luck in your comment. If you're interested in Springtime Messenger, use the word spring. And just make sure that you get these on the right video because if you're interested in last week's, make sure, because remember, I'm going to keep them open until 5 o'clock tonight since I forgot to say. So make sure that you comment with these on 62 and the others on 61. So, are you getting tired? Mm hmm So, just be sure you get them on the right one. And I'll check tonight at 5, and then I'll tag um, the recipients of those shares and we're going to get all our mess cleaned up. And then, are you hungry? You need. You think you need Brahms today? Your lips are... Hey, can you run and get some chap lip and put it on? Your lips are so chappy. They're, you're like, shoes have a little crack in them. Yours are cracking. We're going to get you some chap lip. So. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to try to get this posted and then we'll um, run check on Mimi and maybe see if she will run get a hamburger with us and um, we'll have to eat in the car or eat outside. But it's nice today. Get a little vitamin D on her and um, get our day going. But let me know on those. Like I said, we'll keep the comments from last week open until 5 my time tonight. And um, I will see y'all next week. Y'all have a great week. Bye.